Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was and is and is to come. It's March 21st, 2016. It's 8.21 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. What a powerful time we had in, uh, in our home church yesterday. The Lord really blessed my wife and I and, and everybody in the room and we're thankful for his outpouring. It, it, it's just it's lingered with me and I, I praise God for that. I have two warning videos that I want to make and release today on two different topics. And uh, so this is the first one and we'll go through this uh, rather quickly. Amen. I will, Holy Spirit. I wasn't even going to do this, but I will. Lead, lead and follow the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, rather. And then I'll, I'll have the other one up in a couple hours. And it's on a different topic. So the way this came about, look at that. The Twitter is uh, 44. I mean, of all things, you know, it'll change if you watch it. It was just 38, 44 judgment. So we have a sister, Crystal, here who lives in South Carolina, who I've uh, I've known on online on YouTube since 2012, a long time. And I saw last night in her feed this urgent, 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 uh, three times prophetic message. I've, I've never seen her label or title a video like that ever. And so it really grabbed my attention. And it's about uh, North Carolina, the entire state of North Carolina. And you can hear the urgency in her voice. There's a there's a man on here, and, and a, I'll link to his channel also, that originally gave the warning of North Carolina. And he's talking about uh, the water supply. That's one of the things that I, I, I heard him uh warn about was the water supply and die off a slow die off of animals and there's more to it so, but I'll let you go ahead and hear that and um, so I'll put a link to uh, her video and his video but I want to confirm this the date on this uh, was released yesterday March 20th a message for North Carolina I, and I want to confirm this and here's his channel it's a water tower and and he mentioned a specific area of Midland but included the entire state of North Carolina so I want to come back to this it was uh, it was in October of 2015 the Lord had me go to Charlotte North Carolina and here's Midland and he's he's warning about Midland and mention it specifically but wants to be clear that it's the entire state of North Carolina and water and there could be other things I'll let you hear and pray on that Monroe you know this this Monroe has been coming up in in my uh, watchman warnings for a couple years now going back to 2013 so um, that's my part of this. Uh, I want to call people to pray because I drove right through Midland, went right through it from Charlotte, mm -hmm. heading towards the ocean, which is water. And I want to show you the videos I made, and they all uh, revolve around water. I believe there was three made, maybe even more. So on October twenty second, two thousand fifteen. I, the Lord had me drive four and a half hours round trip from my home here up to Fort Bragg, California and sit on the ocean and read aloud Revelation 6 right here down on the ocean. And, uh, and I did, and I bade oh, this. The Lord. This, this is, is me sitting in Fort Bragg, California on the west coast on a... On a body of water and reading Revelation 6 and the, the message that was being prophesied and put forth on this day 
on October 26th uh, was that darkness would come over the area and disaster and destruction would come to the shores of the west coast and so this was a, a quite a long journey that the Lord had me go on because I went from there and obeyed the Lord and then I went to North Carolina I met with Sister Rosemary on here and we prayed at the Panther Stadium there in Charlotte and then I drove down to Top Sail Beach well, you can see the trip here actually look at the 44's come on now this is why I like I don't plan and like script my videos because you just can't make this stuff up look at all the 44's 44 hours if I would have drove no matter what route I took but I flew and the Lord had me go through uh, Atlanta and while in Atlanta I prayed for a uh, uh, I prayed uh, against actually man-made disasters and pestilences that are that are made from the CDC right there in Atlanta. And real interesting, looking back now, I was on a, I was on the, it's called the Word of Action prayer line out of Atlanta, from 2010 all the way up to like 2013 for three years. I was on there at night, three in the morning. We'd wake up and pray. The pastor there in Atlanta, an evangelist in Savannah. Georgia recently called me on a conference call and requested prayer for their area of Atlanta and uh, they wanted me to get back on the prayer line uh, tonight to pray with them so this is all coming together real quick so I, I went and drove down to what's called Top Sail Beach and, uh, and when I got down to the uh, when I got down to the beach I read, the Lord had me read from Zephaniah 2. I stopped at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So I started in Fort Bragg, California, and I went to Fort Bragg, North Carolina, to Fort Bragg's, and they allowed me on the base, and I prayed Psalm 91 on that base because I believe there's also a war warning to this message. And here's my trip to Top Cell Beach. And, and, I, and I noticed one thing, my personal journey from West Coast to East Coast, Fort Bragg, California to Fort Bragg, North Carolina in October and coming back on November 1, it was a 11-1, uh, it all revolved water. It started at the, the West Coast Ocean and ended up at the East Coast Ocean and I came back and I'm like, well, I bade the Lord. I really didn't meet with a lot of people other than Rosemary. I went alone, and uh, and and now I now I see why the Lord had me do this about North Carolina. So this is uh, just in obedience to the Lord. This is what the Lord had me uh, to proclaim uh, while there. Begin prayer on the coast at Fort Bragg, California. Pray for mercy against the coming earthquake. That's for the West Coast. And then I believe. And then prophesy. Prophesy directly from the Bible. So it was Revelation 6 on the West Coast and Zephaniah 2 on the East Coast. Proclaim the coming prophetic release of the Elijah anointing. Uh, we will see, feel, and observe it. And I'm literally, am I, am I personally telling you, I'm feeling this now. For about three days now. We talked about this in church yesterday. Warn of great man-made pestilences and natural made disasters to come. While in Atlanta, pray against man-made diseases and rebuke them in Jesus' name. I did all that. Warn of government one world order uprising, ushering in a great deception to accept a world leader in its mark. Deception comes in time prophecy will both come forth and be fulfilled. Zephaniah 2, I haven't looked at this whole video yet, if there's more to this, or, because I can be long-winded, that's the truth, but there, there is more, go back a little, you know, that what the Lord has placed on my heart is that it's really important that when we receive these warnings, we pray, and so you heard the backyard chat, What's this? Visit uh, Deliverance Evangelical Temple in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And I remember that was kind of down on the, 
the coast. In prayer on 10 15 it was revealed to me that Fort Bragg, California represents the coming California megaquake, and Fort Bragg, North Carolina is a final prophetic revelation of what the angel told me in July 5, 2012. Warn. The reason I am to go to both coasts is a prayer over them that God's perfect will be done, and that his children be hidden in the secret place of Psalm 91 while prophesying of what is to come. West Coast Earthquake, East Coast Destruction and War, Matthew 25, Luke 21, and Return No Later Than 11, 1. Just getting all this up in obedience. This will complete my three-year timeline of releasing. Can't really see what that says. Let me go back. Releasing prophecies on the social media. I am then to go into prayer for three days. It's so important to review this stuff. I am then to go into prayer for three days to hear and receive from the Lord his words to share from that point on. And basically this is when I started home church. This was when I had my first service here in home. Going on six months now, I believe. So yeah, it's all making coming together and making perfect sense now. So I want to end this by... Uh, just saying how, how real this is, I mean, and confirm this brother's, uh, what, what he was shown in a vision. And then, because he mentions water a lot, and what the Lord had me read on the water in North Carolina was, Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coasts, and the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and flocks, and the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. And, and, and basically it talked about, you know, how something would come upon the waters and many would perish, but uh, many would also, the remnant would be protected. And right here, 14, and flock shall lie down in the midst of her, all the beasts of the nation, both the cormorant, is that a, a bird? And the bittern shall lodge in the... I'm just, for time's sake, it mentions beasts, he mentions animals. This needs to go forward. I'm asking everybody on my channel to visit this sister's, uh, Sister Crystal's her name, Living for Jesus Rapture, to visit her urgent warning, and, to, and she links to the brother whom has prophesied over her things that have come to pass, and then visit his prophetic warning. I believe his name is Brother Mark. And then uh, read uh, Revelation 6 and Zephaniah 2. And then pray God's perfect will, repentance and salvation and protection according to God's perfect will over this area. And uh, I'm going to drop it right down here in Midland. And uh, just in obedience to, uh, to to see if the Holy Spirit shows us anything real quick. Polk, Polk Ford Road. Okay, so this is another confirmation. That others maybe get something out of this. But Ford Road, in my dream, there was a 1967 Ford Mustang. And now I drop down on a pork fold road. I'm sure there's more to this. I'm not going to be looking around uh, much other than that because I've received my confirmation. The 1967 Ford Mustang had a mural on it. Remember the mural? And there's Bank of America murals where in North Carolina. The 1967 uh, Mustang, and people who follow my channel will know, it had trees and stuff just like this on it. Remember the sea of glass? It looked as if it was a sea of glass. So I'll find that uh, dream also. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what I remember now exactly what that dream was about. It was we were we were in tribulation, and the mark of the beast was being implemented. You know, remember they were trying to put a green and blue, a green dragon and a blue lighthouse tattoo on my right hand and arm. It was a blue lighthouse. Let me do one more thing.
the Lord has me in, in this season I'm in giving as much details as I possibly can in uh, in, in these uh, these prophetic things that I put forward Cape this is Dare Dare County North Carolina anybody in my dream there was a, they were trying to do a blue lighthouse tattoo kill devil heels not familiar with this area but as led by the Lord I'm sharing it if top cell beach uh, there's Greenville if top cell beach popped up in here I would really <laughs> I don't mean to laugh I mean but this stuff is uh, it, it really looks familiar to me like I was right here in this area I, I drove all the way down that y'all don't understand the Lord had me drive all the way down this hill down to the ocean kill devil and, and it seems like I was right in this area somewhere it's right down in here somewhere top cell beach so if I could find it. anybody I keep wanting to uh, to hit stop sea level it's been a while and that deliverance center was uh, I don't know the area long enough to do this but I'm just showing you some areas because I was here that deliverance uh, tabernacle was right down here too duck so ducks Lord have mercy well I'll be praying over this and sharing this and we love you all I have another warning to put up today also this is real we'll be in prayer Shalom